gas giant Greater Fortune and King of Planets can all be used to classify the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter. After the Sun was formed, the gas and dust began to lose heat, turn into solids, and clump together. This is how Jupiter was formed. It is known as the gas giant because it contains the highest concentration of hydrogen and helium. As Jupiter grew in size, its strong gravitational pull collected raw material as it orbited. All of the raw material that was drawn toward Jupiter created a channel. Planets began forming on either side of this channel, like Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. Jupiter has been known since ancient times because it is visible with the naked eye. Jupiter is named by the Romans after the Roman god of sky and thunder. In 1610, Galileo observed that Jupiter is orbited by at least 67 moons. The four major moons are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, also known as the Galilean moons. The moons were once called Cosmo stars in honor of Galileo's employer Cosimo II de' Medici. They were named the Medician stars after all four Medici brothers. The moons are thought to have been formed as a ring of accreting gas and solid debris. Io was named after the priest's era, Europa after Europa, a Phoenician noblewoman who was courted by Zeus, Ganymede after Zeus's beloved cupbearer, and Callisto who was named after the daughter of Arcadian king Lycan. One important feature on Jupiter is its red eye. This was discovered in the 17th century with a telescope. Although Jupiter is not well represented in social media, it does supposedly play a part in how a person's birth year or day will turn out. Jupiter is called the Greater Fortune, while Venus is known as the Lesser Fortune. Jupiter is composed of hydrogen, helium, methane, ammonia, hydrogen deuteride, ethane, and water. Jupiter also contains ices, ammonia, water, and ammonium hydrosulfate. The temperature of the clouds is negative 145 degrees Celsius, or negative 234 degrees Fahrenheit. The core is 24,000 degrees Celsius or 43,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is hotter than the surface of the Sun. Jupiter is a Jovian planet. It's the fifth planet from the Sun and the largest in the solar system. Jupiter is the third brightest object in the night sky. It has been said that Jupiter and its moons are like a mini solar system. Its surface has raging storms, cloud currents, and flickering lightning bolts. Jupiter's clouds start out as hydrogen, helium, and ammonia gas, where there is extreme atmospheric pressure. It then turns into liquid hydrogen and then metallic hydrogen. A rocky core lies beneath that might contain huge diamonds. Jupiter's atmosphere is thick. The top layer of clouds that contain ammonia would be colorless, but small amounts of chemicals give the clouds their color. Winds on Jupiter's surface reach 400 miles per hour, and windstorms can last for hundreds of years. Material at the equator rotates faster than material at the poles. The Great Red Spot is an example of a vast storm system that is at least 300 years old, and twice as large as Earth. Jupiter radiates more of its own heat than it gets from the Sun. Jupiter also gives off radio waves. Jupiter has three faint and narrow rings. They are made up of tiny dust particles that have been knocked off of Jupiter's inner moons by meteorites. The asteroid belt also lies within Jupiter's orbit. Jupiter has a lot of lightning and flammable substances, but since there is a lack of oxygen, they will not ignite. Io and Europa are about the size of our moon. Io is the innermost moon. It is the most volcanic object in our solar system. It has over 400 active volcanoes. Lava boils under the moon's surface, and when volcanoes erupt, volcanic sulfur blasts 300 miles into space. This moon has the youngest landscape of any solar system object. It is composed of silicate rock surrounding a molten iron or iron sulfide core. Io's surface is coated with sulfur and sulfur dioxide frost. Europa has an ice-covered ocean. The outer layer of water is about 62 miles thick. The icy surface has icebergs and is covered in cracks. Europa's surface is cracked from Jupiter's strong gravitational pull. The core of Europa is most likely a metallic iron core. It is possible for extraterrestrial life to survive on Europa. Ganymede is the biggest moon in the solar system. It is larger than Mercury. 
Radiogenic heating in the moon is the current heat source. Ganymede has two surface types. Dark regions are heavily cratered. They are made up of clays and organic materials and they make up one third of the surface. Younger, lighter regions have grooves and ridges. Callisto is the outermost moon of the Galilean moons. It is the same size as Mercury and takes seven days to complete one orbit. Callisto is one of the most heavily cratered objects in the solar system. Its surface has an ancient lithosphere of ice and rocky material. The surface can be divided into cratered planes, light, bright, dark, and smooth planes. Anytime a new crater hits, it usually erases an older one. Callisto is still scarred by ancient impact craters. The older the surface, the denser the crater population. The density of impact craters can help determine relative ages of items on Callisto's surface. Most of Jupiter's collected information is possible because of space exploration. No spaceship will ever land on Jupiter because there is no land and the pressure would crush the spacecraft, but flybys still gather important information. In 1973, Pro Pioneer 10 was the first spacecraft to fly by Jupiter. It took pictures and studied the magnetic fields and atmosphere. Pioneer 11 in 1974 also studied the same things and took pictures of Jupiter's moons. Then in 1979, NASA launched Voyager 1 and 2. They took thousands of images, discovered new moons, active volcanoes on Io, and Jupiter's rings. Orbiter Ulysses flew by in 1992. In 1995, Galileo went into orbit and released a probe. The probe collected weather information before it was crushed by pressure. In 2003, Galileo collected evidence that under Europa's ice is liquid water. Cassini flew by in 2000 and took pictures. Then in 2003, cameras and astronomers in Hawaii discovered 23 new moons. Upcoming missions might include collected information about Jupiter's water amount and what's beneath Europa's icy surface.